why am I so late? Well, I honestly wasn't going to come on here, if I'm being, like, super honest. I was going to reschedule for tomorrow, but, um, I decided, no, I was definitely going to tell you guys. Um, I was going to post it, like, half an hour ago that I'm just going to reschedule because, like, all day today I've been, like, putting it off, putting it off, and... I don't know. I just had this moment where I was like, no, I definitely need to go live. Um, so yeah, here I am. It's gonna be a very boring live and that's totally fine. It is what it is. Um, I might do an extra this week. Because I feel like this live stream is gonna suck. So Amber Lynn would be the worst employee ever. For her to just be like, oh, I wasn't feeling like it. And then to come on for 40 three minutes it's just ridiculous that people are paying her and giving super chats for this length of time she worked less than an hour and a half this week on her channel it just blows my mind how entitled and privileged she is i haven't been taking my medicine very very well you guys um i take medicine for my bipolar anxiety and estrogen so i don't go through my menopause moment and I haven't, I don't know, I haven't been, uh, look like you got some sun. I actually have been going outside more for sure. Um, but I haven't been taking my medicine good. Today is the fourth day in a row that I've taken it. So we're trying to get back on track with that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I've just like emotionally been like drained. I've been like overwhelmed. I've just, I don't know. I've been having like mood swings again and I like low-key hate it. So we're getting back on track with my meds. So this just... I don't know, this just baffles me. Amberlynn has said before that she stopped taking her medication previously. She does this randomly. And and then she doesn't know why her symptoms come back. Well, the medicine that you take for bipolar has specific side effects of if you stop taking it, you run the risk of your symptoms coming back. This happens with any long-term medication for a condition, whether it's ADHD, bipolar, binge eating, whatever condition Amberlynn may have that she's taking medication for. The medicine works better the longer that it's in your system and it builds up in the system and it works better as time goes on. Just stopping taking it, that's not a good idea. If she feels like it's not working, then she needs to go back to her doctor and have the dosage readjusted. If she thinks it's doing too much, then maybe they need to lower the dosage. But just stopping it altogether is not good. And it's probably why she's been having mood swings, because she just randomly decides to stop taking her medication. What do you think about people constantly comparing you to Chantel? Do you think y'all are alike? I do think we're similar in certain ways, but we're also very different in other ways. Um, but people compare us because there's not many YouTubers that are like bigger like we are. Obviously, I'm massively bigger than she is, but people are going to compare the the fatties, if you will. Oh my god. Um, you guys know the group of us, and I think that it's very fat shamey to do that because it's like just because we're all fat doesn't mean like we're grouped together they like, should be grouped together because we're all also very different so i don't know i think it's very strange that this community is all obsessed with like the same few fat chicks and it just kind of goes to show what kind of community this really is it's not really about us as people at this point it's about our weight and i can go more into that but i really just don't want to i just don't have you ever there are a lot of bigger youtubers out there either documenting their weight loss journey or just living their life and showing plus size body positivity when it comes to you and Chantal, it has nothing to do with your weight, the hate that you get. People give you hate because you're kind of crap people. You treat people badly, you treat your subscribers badly, and you just flat out lie to people in your live streams, and then you try to gaslight them, which you've admitted to before. So don't say that it's fat shaming just because you're overweight and because Chantal's overweight. It has zero to do with your weight. It's because of your actions and your behavior that people compare you two together because you're the most problematic.
of the larger YouTubers. What do you think about Hungry Fat Chick? She gets a lot of love and support and very little hate. I think she's great. Do I believe in soulmates? She moved on from that real quick because it doesn't fit her narrative. If it were solely about somebody's weight, then Hungry Fat Chick would get the same kind of hate and feedback that Amberlynn and Chantal get. But she doesn't. Now, I don't follow Hungry Fat Chick, so I don't know a lot about her, but it sounds like she gets positive comments, positive feedback, and has a positive community around her, whereas Chantal and Amber Lee do not. Other plus size. No, nope. you took what I said and ran with it. Why don't you watch Becky's videos? Probably the same reason she doesn't watch mine. <laughs> like, what? I don't, like, literally, I think, she, like, since I've known her for way over four years, why I said way over four years, I don't know why I said like that, um, almost five years, I think that she has seen maybe three of my videos. <laughs> maybe three. Well, Amberlynn, you did say that you would be Becky's number one fan and watch all of her videos and support her. But maybe Becky didn't watch her videos because she was either in them or she was there when you recorded them. So she didn't need to go watch them. She knew what was in them already. Mm, do you mean your wifey? Because I ain't got no wifey, so. Amber is once again claiming that she's single. But if she were really single, would she not have had a live stream where she was upset or crying or whatever if she really loved the possibly previous wifey as much as she said she did? I don't really believe that she's single. I think she's just doing a much better job of trying to hide it. But as we've seen in a previous live stream, there may be somebody there still. Are you and Becky doing okay as friends? Do you ever get sad about what happened between you and Becky? I feel like our friendship lately isn't as strong as it was in the beginning. I don't know why. I'm I'm personally trying to figure it out because, like, I care about her and I want everything to be good between us, obviously. Um, I think that she's just really stressed out right now, so it makes me sad. And I'm helping in the best way that I can help, so. Wow. Amber's narcissism really does know no bounds, does it? It's nothing to do with her, is it? It's all Becky. Becky's stressed out. And Amber's doing whatever she can to help and make it better. Bitch, maybe it's because you moved a whole ass person into your house while Becky still lived there. And then you went off on Becky and blamed her for wifey being doxxed and harassed when it was totally your own damn fault. Pfft. I'm glad Becky moved out, and I hope she gets away from you completely. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna, like, set a day where I film, like, a random video for you guys. Like, a what I ate today moment, or an eat with me moment, or watch me cook, or watch me do my makeup, and then I'm gonna vlog. I just need to figure it out. You guys, please, just, like, motivate me, push me, keep bugging me about it. I feel like I need to be bugged, is what it is, because if I'm not, then I'm just not gonna do it. So, yeah. Bug me a little bit, but be nice about it, because if you're mean about it, then I'm not gonna want to do it. But, um, yeah, I just need to get in the right, like, mental. And it's been months since I've filmed, I feel like. Oh, you love a grocery haul? Me too. Love a grocery haul. Um, maybe we could do a grocery haul. That actually sounds so fun. So here we have Amber saying that she'll work on some vlogs, but she needs her audience to remind her. When you go to work, do you need to be reminded to work by your boss or by your customers? I don't think so. I don't know how she ever survived in the real world before YouTube if this was her work ethic and how she worked. And then she puts it off onto the audience so that she can come back and say, if she doesn't vlog, well, you guys didn't remind me or you guys were mean about it when you reminded me, which made me just not want to do it, which will then absolve her of any and all responsibility. I just don't understand. This is her one job. And she can't make content for her viewers that are paying her $8 each month for the privilege to be able to chat with her in her live chats. And whenever she does go live this particular week, she didn't even go for an hour and a half total the entire week. 
what are her subscribers paying for for her just to sit there and read comments from the chat where she's not even providing any content herself it's her subscribers she should be paying her subscribers since they're doing all the damn work Well, that's all I've got for you for this video. I'll be doing the rest of the live streams shortly. I know I'm a little behind. It's been a busy week for work. But if anybody watches this, let me know what you think about her live stream down below. And do you think Amber Lynn will actually start vlogging again? I hope so. Her subscribers could really use the new content. And I personally would love to see her continue her journey to be healthy and lose weight. So. Take care, have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next one.